Hello and welcome to Camilla and I. And uh, well, we're doing local accessible wildlife photography again, um, but we're out in the camper van. And today we're visiting a brand new nature reserve to Camilla and I, which is the RSPB Pagham Harbour Nature Reserve. Um, got a lovely visitor centre. So I came here last night Stayed overnight locally, um, no campsites at this time of year available, so uh, just uh, parked up in a lay-by and had a very nice walk along the north wall as recommended by uh, the people in the visitor's centre. So up bright and early this morning, had breakfast in the camper van and now I think I'm going on a south walk. They recommended the north wall walk last night which was uh, Interesting, I didn't take uh, Camilla with me because uh, it was a little bit muddy to say the least. So I'm hoping the tracks are a little bit more open today. So I just set Camilla up by the visitor's centre. And uh, as we all know, some of the best shots are taken in the car park. So uh, yeah, RSPB reserve. Obviously they put out a lot of feeders here and I don't know if it attracted this kestrel to the area first thing. But as I was having breakfast, a kestrel appeared in a tree and it flew up very obligingly. I think it's a male. Anyway, uh, yeah, quick flip around, show you what I mean. Yeah, that was the green finch that was there. But um, before that, I got some uh, full frame images virtually. Well, quite good shame images of this kestrel. A uh, male kestrel. Must be local to the area. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Great to, uh, great to see. Amazing to get a kestrel. Such good light and some really good pictures of it. Anyway, yeah, we're now overlooking the bird feeders. So I'll let you know if we get anything good on the bird feeders. Already got a nice posing green finch. So uh, yeah, don't need to go any further really. Forget the 1.8 mile walk this morning. Just stay around the uh, car park. Well, we'll start on our South Walk Trail. I think it's the South Walk, the uh, easy trail, anyway, the red one, and uh, see where we get to at Pagnum. Amazing. Yes, and the Kestrel alone was worth getting this morning. Uh, an absolutely uh, superb in flight shot of the uh, male Kestrel over the visitor centre. Incredible. Apparently, I spoke to uh, one of the uh, volunteers, though, there's always somebody who's got one better than you. Apparently, a Merlin flew by the visitor centre with somebody else. So uh, anyway, so uh, yes, yeah, that sort of reserve. Um, you don't really know what's going to turn up next. It's very good. Apparently they do have short-eared owls. Get through this gate. Yeah, whoops. Flip me around. Yeah, get through this gate. Yeah, let's get through this gate. So we're coming up to the ferry bridge hide, which um, basically... Um, overlooks a road I suppose in uh, an amazing hide. I've never seen a hide before that overlooks a road but uh, anyway, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But uh, yeah lovely uh, lovely. Morning okay. Right. Ooh. Yeah so I've never been to a hide before that overlooks a road. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. So obviously, yeah. Uh, obviously, you look beyond the road, and uh, yeah, the hide here. I mean, you can see some uh, ducks in the distance. There's some uh, teal, and uh, quite a couple of interesting ducks. So uh, yeah, you do get quite a good view from here. So I can see why it's a viewing hide. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, hide here. That's incredible. Can't get in at the moment because it's uh, 10 o'clock. It opens 10 o'clock daily. So uh, yeah, just uh, Camilla and I parked up. Amazing. 
Yeah, so I just set up the other side of the hide. Um, so you do actually get quite a good view of the uh, loads of ducks at the moment. Some other ducks coming down, I'll record them now. Yeah, a vast assortment of ducks. And uh, well, I have got one wading bird off to the right. I'll just have a quick zone in on that. Just got a red shank, I think, wading bird on its own. Just for recording species of birds, you can spot quite a few from here. You can tick quite a few off your list. Early in the year. Shell duck as well. Lovely spot for spotting birds, but a bit noisy next to the road, the ferry bridge hide. And it doesn't open 10 till 4, I think uh, it's open. So uh, anyway. Oh, I just had an articulated lorry. <laughs> Go past as I was trying to. Uh, not a great spot for photographing birds because you can't get to eye level with them. And uh, yeah, the odd Arctic lorry goes past. But um, yeah, there's some stuff in there. Great crest of grebe or grebe going across there. Just recorded that then. But, uh, yeah, a very good spotting spot, but rubbish photography wise. So we'll move on. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Okay. <laughs> Just going to start recording, and that happens. Amazing. Some discharge or overflow from the, the pipe. <laughs> Incredible, what timing. Anyway, I was just going to say, there's a, uh, a red shank in the foreground um, between the pipes and the tree in front in the, uh, in the mid-ground. And uh, anyway, it makes an excellent subject. And we're a little bit high up here, but um, we'll still get a very good view and reflection down on the bird from this particular spot. So uh, I will set up and see if we can get some video. But this is the sort of opportunity you're looking for. So all I do to get quickly into action is just throw the tripod down in that position. <coughs> just as it comes out of the bag. <coughs> Sometimes I've got a little bit higher set than this. Anyway, and then I just slot the uh, camera in and we're ready to shoot more or less. Now just turn on, ready to shoot. And now we've got that red shank in our sights. And I take a couple of record shots, 500 to a second. And now I'm just doing a little bit of video. Just get a little bit of footage as the red shank comes towards us. No compensation required, sun's not out at this point. Four K, one hundred frames per second. Beautiful. Slightly looking down on the bird. Would prefer to be level, but still, some very nice action, and totally unobtrusive to the bird. Amazing. So, yeah, very clear view of a red shank. Anyway, first subject of the day on this nature trail. So we're coming on this um, sort of starter trail, the red one. And uh, yeah, anyway, not bad so far, not bad so far. Red shank already in the bag, beautiful, okay. progress down the trail. Uh, quick flip you around. Yeah. Basically it just seems to go straight in. We're heading towards Siddlesham Quarry. 
which is half a mile down here with the uh, with the Camilla wagon just there. Yeah, it's been a bit muddy, but uh, hardly surprising given the amount of rain we've had recently. Anyway, yeah, any photo opportunities, we'll stop. Well, I think I've reached the end of the trail. It's getting a bit muddy. It did rain a lot last night on Camilla and I. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was wet in the van overnight. But uh, we reached here yesterday and it was actually down uh, this area over here. I think it was Mill Lane. We uh, stayed down overnight. And um, yeah, this area over here in the distance. So I think we came down here and we looked, we did go a fair way down this north wall route. And today we've essentially completed the footage coming round to uh, this side. So we're quite a long way from the estuary itself. So I suppose that is a uh, disappointment on uh, Camilla and I. Well, we've just come round to uh, Pagham Harbour, Norton Church. Um, driven the short distance from the visitor's centre round to Norton Church, Pagham Harbour.